if we don't do anything to slow this disease down, we know by 2050 we're going to have that silver tsunami and it's going to bankrupt our Medicare and our Medicaid system. And, you know, speaking of Medicaid, Medicare, there is a new billing code that is available and that came about by the advocacy component of the Alzheimer's Association talking to the CMS who's responsible for Medicare and Medicaid and they decided, you know what, we're going to introduce a temporary billing code which took place in uh, 2017 and then a year later they made that billing code a permanent billing code in January of 2018 but one of the things that we have realized is that physicians and nurse practitioners don't even know how to apply and utilize that. So we at the Alzheimer's Association on a national level are now um, advocating and sponsoring bills to have the CMS to go back and put in step-by-step -step directions on how to utilize this billing code because there's no limit to the amount of times that a physician or a nurse practitioner can bill for uh, cognitive assessment and care and support planning. That's huge because now before it was like, well, we don't really want to be involved because there's no financial return on it. Well, guess what? They can't use that as an excuse, so they need to educate themselves because there's a financial opportunity there. And the CMS is? Um, the, it's the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Okay.